So, it, scrambling to find a replacement, we really scored. We really scored. Okay. Shh. It's whispering tree. Yes. Yeah, shh. Quiet. We must whisper when we talk about it. This is 2008 from Columbia Valley. This wine's really incredible. Yeah, this, is incredible. <laughs> this, this is better. I didn't taste the original wine that went bad, but it, just, it couldn't have been any better than this. No, this stuff, man. I mean, this. I, I stumped uh, somebody at our house over the weekend. She loves expensive wines. That's all she buys. She just thinks if you spend a lot of money, that's that's what you get a good wine. And so I, I decanted this, and I poured it for her. She goes, "This is really this good. Is really amazing." And I go, "Well, seven ninety nine too much for you for this?" And she's just like, "What?" And I go, "Yes, that's what we do for a living. We find good values." Okay, okay, calm down. It's it's really it's really spectacular. It's one of the best classic series of wines we've had all year, I think. Mm -hmm. And you know what's interesting? that I get in the end of this is this camphor character. Yeah, a Once it bit. opens up, and that you would normally maybe get from a Napa or a eucalyptus, you know? This, it doesn't tell you what's in it, but I'm sure there's Cabernet in there, because it sure tastes like Cabernet. What do you mean it tells you? It's Cabernet Sauvignon from Columbia Valley. <laughs> you know, that's a dead giveaway, isn't it? You only wrote 500 words on the subject. 400, but that's it's a dead giveaway. <laughs> oh, I, you know, I'm confusing that with something that was a blend of stuff. And uh, wine's amazing. Well, you know, Washington State, they don't have to take a back seat to Napa, I'll tell you. I mean, they, they make some of the best Bordeaux varietals in the United States, as far as I'm concerned. Well, they, you know, they argue that it's on the same latitude. And as Bordeaux. I, and I think that's valid in it's certain very cases, valid. but it has nothing to do with the soil, but no. certainly the microclimate. But it is... Actually, what it has to do with is the latitude. They, they, they're, they're um, in the summer, when the grapes, grapes are ripening, they get sun longer than they do here. It's, they get sun until after 9 o'clock. And what, mean, oh, what wow. that means is, is that the grapes, instead of being in a hot weather where the sugars rise, the sugars stay the same, but they ripen, and they keep ripening. And so you've oh, got so a riper really... grape without high sugar, meaning high alcohol, and it maintains the acid balance. It's, it's how Mother Nature works, and it works better there than anywhere else. It's clear, and it's... It's twenty-two bucks at the winery. It's seven ninety-nine here, which is absolutely ridiculous. Twenty-two bucks is ridiculous. You, you, it's no exactly. You would be happy to spend twenty dollars at a wine shop if you took this home and drank it, uh, and if you decanted even more. So I'm giving this a ninety-six. I'm doing a ninety-eight. Yeah, I, is, I, it's absolutely spectacular. <laughs> what a what a find.